Good morning, happy Christmas Eve Eve. I can't actually believe it. It's the 23rd of December, so it's not long now. We are, as you can see, out on our doggy walk. It's like the sun is actually out. Ah, it's not raining and I haven't seen the sun for an eternity it feels like. So we are going on a longer walk this morning and basking in the sunshine. Actually I had some stolen for my breakfast this morning. I oh, know it's a bit naughty for breakfast. I actually thought it tasted really nice. I think Pete dipped out and had the very end bit and it was a bit burnt. <laughs> but it's possibly not as soft and nice as the ones I've had in the past that I've bought. But considering I can eat it, gosh, look how bright it is. I'm going to go back this way. But considering that I can actually eat it, I think it's really nice. So I'm quite pleased with it. Today, okay, so my huge oh my goodness there's puddles everywhere I'm gonna to have to be careful around this bit so this ooh, hang on ooh. there we go safely on the other side this morning my huge Christmas food shop is being delivered so I'll need to put that away and I'm gonna to have to change hands and I'm also planning on making the ginger puddings for George because I didn't do them yesterday because the day just got away from me. And other than that, I haven't really got that much that I'm planning on doing. This afternoon I've set aside for a new project start. Oh, you probably can't see me now. And I'm gonna stand here because I'm going up a hill in a second and I won't be able to breathe. There we go, that's better. Um, if any of you watched The Bakery Bears, their very latest episode, that's Kay and Dan, and I'm sure you all watched them because they are lovely and amazing. But Kay was talking about starting a new blanket, a crochet blanket with granny squares. And it got me to thinking, oh, I would love to make one never had much success with crochet projects in the past. I made one blanket and really disliked it because I joined it with, like stitched it together. I just did it too tight and it was horrible. I think Bryony took it, she really liked it. Um, then I tried to make another one, a hexagon one, and I couldn't get on with that one. So I'm really hoping this is going to be my thing and I'm really excited. So um, I'm going to have a go this afternoon and Kay is going to be holding my hand. <laughs> um, I think that's all I've got to say for now and um, I'll chat with you later. Bye. PPS. No headache. I feel like I'm winning at life now. to make gingerbread puddings with ginger wine and brandy sauce. This is Delia Smith's winter collection look and this is George's 
favourite, favourite thing. And it wouldn't be Christmas for him without them. So I'm just about to make those. I've also packed away my big Christmas food shop, which was no mean feat. <laughs> Excuse my hair today, it looks a bit raggy and horrid because I just couldn't really be bothered to have a shower this morning. Um, but in my food shop, I treated myself to this new nail polish and it's called Pink Chocolate. So I don't normally paint my, oops, hello. <laughs> I don't normally paint my nails, um, but I'm going to give it a go. And now my camera has decided to flash at me and telling me it's low on charge. So I think I will maybe need to show you the end product rather than the process of making them. So I will charge my camera battery and I'll be back to you later. Bye. socks oh, I love these with the Mabel cable <laughs> um, this is my pattern and you can find all the details of it on the project page for them on Ravelry um, let me see if I can give you a close-up of the Mabel cable it's really simple and super super pretty these were knit out of gorgeous Kate Celine yarn in candy floss I think So here is Faith the panda. <laughs> she is so adorable. Look at her little hat. Her little hood is so sweet. I love her. Even George said it's very cute. And he's not really known for saying things like that unless it's about Mabel because he thinks Mabel's just about the cutest thing in the world. But she is so sweet, isn't she? So I finished her in time for Christmas and she has her faith jacket on. Ah, oh, love her. So, um, if you've missed me rambling about why she's called Faith and why she has a yellow jacket, it's because um, Amy, who is Taylor S Studio, and I love the programme Keeping Faith. And Faith in the program had a really gorgeous yellow hooded raincoat on. And so this panda just had to be called Faith and had to have a yellow raincoat. I just love her hood so much. It's so cute. So she's done. The pattern is by Susan B. Anderson. And I literally cannot fault the pattern. It is beautifully written, really simple to follow. But Faith was a little fiddly, if I'm being honest. Oh, hello. <laughs> I do love her a lot. Probably a bit too much. Look, I painted my nails. I rarely paint my nails. They're not perfect. But I love them. And I'm no um expert on nail polish because I don't really use it but this feels really nice needed two coats and it's like looks a bit like gel nails if you ask me and it's very it's dense the right word like it's very can't see through it it's not streaky or anything it dried quite quickly and I love the colour but I have painted nails um, what else did I want to talk about? 
Oh, I was asked about my necklace. This is my little Christmas bear in a teacup necklace. And it's by... I should have checked the lady's name, I can't remember, but her shop on Etsy is Sweet Beastery. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> but I'm going to put the name along the screen here, so you can go and have a look if you want to. But I also have a bunny. Do I have another one by her as well? I'm not sure. I also have a little bunny head in a pocket, which I love. But his ears... They're getting a bit sad now because they've been stuck on so many times. But I love her work. She does the most beautiful little ornaments and things as well. And brooches. So cute. Anyway, I think panda necklace. Yes, I'm just going to get my coffee. Yesterday, when Pete and I were in the car on our way to the long barn, I suddenly had this kind of epiphany that I should talk to you about my best friend in primary school. I have been trying to find her for years and years and years. Her name at school was Lucy Phillips and she was my very best friend. Oh, we loved each other. She was just cute and quirky and she was herself, she didn't need to pretend to be anybody else or fit in with the crowd. And I was very similar, I was a bit different from everybody else I guess. And we just got along like a house on fire. We had the best time. <laughs> the reason I'm mentioning her is I'm really hoping, the reason that this idea popped into my head out of nowhere it's because it's the universe telling me that, Lucy, are you out there? Does anybody know my friend Lucy? So she'd be my age now, which is 48. She was called Lucy Phillips when we were growing up and we went to school together in Bentley School, which is B-E-N-T-L-E-Y, Bentley School. And she lived in New Tree Cottage, which was just opposite the school in Bentley. And she had a brother called Miles. He had really, really curly hair. She was the youngest. And she had a brother and a sister. I think her sister was called Janet. It doesn't sound right now I'm saying it. Her sister was lovely and her mum was gorgeous and she used to call her dad Bear because he was very hairy, like really beardy. And she used to like eating pickled walnut sandwiches. Oh, I love her, I just love her so much. I've never forgotten her. But uh, I think we had one year to go at primary school and sadly we were ripped apart because she was sent to a special school for dyslexic um, children. And neither of us, I don't think, knew anything about dyslexia back then, but we knew we both struggled a bit. Um, so Lucy must have struggled more than me because she got diagnosed and sent off to a different school. And I carried on struggling at school, but um, we never ever saw each other again and my heart was broken. Oh, I miss her. I miss her now because I feel like we'd still be best friends. I remember going round to her. She lived in this gorgeous old cottage with a yew tree in the garden because it was called Yew Tree Cottage. And um, she used to, used to do lots of cooking and her speciality was chocolate hedgehog cakes. And so there was generally, when I went round, there was always a chocolate hedgehog cake in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> we knit, I don't know if Lucy knit or her mum, these tiny little pigs. So cute. That's probably where I got my knitting love from. She always wore denim junk dungarees and kickers. I don't know if any of you remember kickers. I got a pair of kickers last year and they're just really lovely boots. And oh, she had dark hair in a bob. 
And we used to go, in the summer holidays, we used to just pack up a picnic. I'd go to her house, I'd pack, we'd pack up a picnic, get on our bikes, and we'd just cycle all down the lanes. And we'd be gone for hours and hours and hours and not think about anything bad that could happen to us. We just had the best time, like freewheeling down the hills. I had a purple chopper. Don't know what Lucy had. Anyway, my reason for talking about this is that, oh my goodness, I would love to find Lucy again. She's pretty likely to be married, I think, or have changed her name, her surname. Um, what else do I know about her? So she lived in Bentley in Hampshire. She's about 48. I can imagine she's a really beautiful, interesting, creative, artistic lady now. If any of you might know a Lucy about my age who fits that description, would you please send out feelers for me because I would love, love, love to get back in touch with her. And I know this message is probably just not even the needle in a haystack, it's probably even smaller than that, but it just felt really strange that just this idea just popped into my head yesterday, like I had to do this. So I will let you know if I hear of anything. Please, please let me know if, if you know of anybody who is called Lucy, about my age, fits that description, and her surname used to be Phillips. Ah, uh, my dreams would all come true. So I know that's a very random thing to ask, but it's my Christmas wish. <laughs> I am now going to finish my coffee. I'm also going to have some chocolate. I'm going to have some Cadbury's fruit and nut chocolate, which is my favourite. My absolute favourite. I am going to... Am I going to have a go at making my first crochet granny square, the K-way? <laughs> Sorry, that made me laugh, <laughs> the K-way. And yeah, I'm just gonna have a chill out this afternoon. I feel so relaxed now. I'm really feeling ready for the day. I still have a bit of baking to do. Well, I don't have to, but I like an abundance of food so that I don't have to cook or think of cooking again for days and days and days and days. Tomorrow I am going to make I think it's called Return to the Black Forest. It's a Delia, it's like a roulade and it's just filled with cherries and chocolate and cream. And there's no flour in it, so it's gluten free. So um, I'll share that with you tomorrow. Ginger puddings turned out beautifully. And so they'll, oh, I was just gonna say they'll go in the freezer, but I don't have an inch spare in my freezer. So I think they'll have to stay out of the freezer. I think that's all I've got to say today. Hmm. Tomorrow is my last day of vlogging. So I'm just going to Christmas Eve and then I'm signing off. So tomorrow is my last day, which I'm kind of happy about. I'm kind of a bit sad about too. Vlogging is, I love it. Especially when I do things like the mug shuffle. I had so much joy and I'm glad you really enjoyed my mug shuffle. But I just, I love playing about with stuff like that. And so I've really, really enjoyed sharing my December with you. But it's very time consuming and evenings just are gone in a flash. So I've been trying really hard to upload my vlogs quite early in like late afternoon, evening. And so that gives me a bit more time to knit. So yes, I'm happy and sad that Vlogmas is nearly over but I'm really, really excited that I'm gonna have time to watch lots of Vlogmases. So anyway, I'm gonna say bye now because I am in a chatty mood and I could literally ramble on forever. Please go and find my Lucy for me.